Now, guys, I don't have any imaging for this. I don't have any fancy music. Cue the music. What we've all been waiting for. Do 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 do. do. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we need yeah. white no. music. We need no, white, we need white music. music. Time was that guy. Oh, oh, guy. Play the okay. Seinfeld theme song. <laughs> yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah. Oh, that's Doo-doo. great. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. The White Excellence <laughs> Fantasy Draft presented by the Give Us a Shot Network. Let me tell you, we want to shout out all of the the reason why this came about. This was my idea. Let's full <laughs> disclaimer. Let's bail out. Let's bail out Mike and Corey and Bert, who was who was originally supposed to be. And I will say that I love it as well. And I think it's hilarious. And I I'm think it's all hysterical. for it. It's funny, and this, and honest, and I'll be, and I'll be honest with you guys. We're not trying to make fun of white athletes. This is, I was legit yes, trying to. We are, we are a little bit. I'm not. I just lied to you. I really lied. We are trying to find the funny in all of this crisis. It's. I, I think white people as as a whole are taking a little bit of heat. Uh, I, I know, I know. Oh, uh, poor white guy. Yeah, I said that. I got, I got, I got a warning for that. You're like, oh, poor white people. You guys have had it so hard because everybody's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, all lives matter, and you guys shouldn't be like this. And I'm like, oh, my God, poor white babies. Oh, you guys don't just have to deal with so much in this country. Enough. Enough of you all lives matter, people. I'm sick of you. Anyway, uh, we <laughs> wanted to showcase and show love to uh, our white brethren. And the white athlete, not to say that it's dying, but they kind of don't get the credit they deserve. And there's plenty of great white athletes over time. So what we have done here today is we are going to draft the ultimate white athletic team. We're each going to have five picks. We're going to go around the, you know, around the room and um, five rounds. And then we are going to put up our ultimate white athletic team for you guys uh, to vote on now, Bert had the number one pick. He's not here, so the draft order will be Mike, Ty, Corey, and then me. So, round one, you guys write down your picks uh, and then send them to me afterwards, and we'll we'll put them up. Um, uh, or I'll I'll write them down. Don't worry about it. I will write them down. Mike, your number one pick in the White Excellence Fantasy Draft is. All right. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure. Ch- yeah, sound excited, he, Mike. Sound excited about this. I'm going with the most widest sport uh, you could think of. It's a sport of brains. Uh, it's, he was the best chess player of his time. His name is Tommy Jefferson. He was also Who? Um, Tom, <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is my number one pick. Wait, are, we doing, are we doing basketball or are we doing all sports? No, all no, sports. We're doing sports. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, was really? a, he was a chess oh, yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. He was a chess player. He also owned 600 plus slaves, slaves, largest amount from any president who ever sat. So that's my first pick, uh, Thomas. He played what? What did he play? Chess. 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 <laughs> yeah, it, chess it's a, a mind game. It's a, uh, it's a muscle. He worked it, okay. uh, and he had 600 Listen, slaves. So uh, thanks. Thanks. Doesn't get, oh, good. It doesn't. Yeah. That's that's not why. Okay. Ty. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for leaving <laughs> for leaving the greatest white athlete on the board. Thank you, Mike. I'm gonna take him, Michael Phelps. Michael Ooh. Phelps. All right. How many gold <laughs> medals does Michael Phelps have? All right. That's the greatest white athlete of all time. Book it. Who's who's number two? He was he was on he was on my big board. He has seven world records and he has an Olympic gold medal. Uh, he had the he's the youngest guy to have uh, a world now, record. He hasn't had one Olympic gold. He has like twenty five Olympic gold medals, I think. No, he has an Olympic uh, world record. I'm saying okay, he has the Olympic okay. world record and he has seven world records and is he's the youngest swimmer uh, to have a world record at the age of fifteen. He's All right, Corey, pot. you're up. And you cannot pot. have a white excellence draft without someone that has white in his last name, and I'm talking pro snowboarder, Sean mm. White. Woo! Yes, good job. Excellent. That's a nice pick. Excellent number one pick. Excellent number one pick. I, is He's probably the one white athlete that literally put his sport on the map, right? Yo, I love yeah. Sean White. He Because he, he did a lot. Of, he did, didn't he skateboard? He skateboard and snowboard, didn't he? He dominated yeah, well, the X and, for like and bike, I think. And yeah, he, was, he did a lit. bunch of shit. He's he lit. was the X Games. I, I like honestly, if it wasn't for Sean White, the X Games would not be what it was at all. 
um, it's still a thing. People are still tuning in. It still gets a lot of coverage on ESPN. Uh, drinking yeah, rock like, star energy drinks, getting crazy. Yeah, it's, it's unreal. Unreal. <laughs> unreal. Hell yeah, it's awesome. Sean, good pick. Good pick. That's an excellent pick. Uh, actually, both of those guys were on my big board. I didn't think you guys were gonna gonna do it to me. So, for my number one pick in my uh, in in my white excellence draft, you need a leader. And when you draft a team, you need the foundation. And what better leader to have than the greatest leader in football and in the KKK, Drew Brees? Yes, <laughs> I can't quit him. I can't quit him. <laughs> <laughs> Look up any passing category stat. Guess who's on top? You guessed it, buddy. Drew Brees. Passing yards. Gotcha. Touchdowns. Gotcha. Pass uh, uh, completion percentage. Gotcha. Attempts. Gotcha. He has it all. He is the greatest. I don't care what Aaron Rodgers, who, Tom Brady, if, Aaron, if Drew Brees is the greatest quarterback of all time by talent, wow. with raw talent, I'll wow. say it. Drew Brees is my number one pick. All right, Mike, oh, round two. I'm going with Andrew Johnson. I already mentioned him <laughs> once in this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, he brought Literally baseball to the presidents. White House. Yeah, he brought baseball to the White House. Andrew Johnson served as Lincoln's <laughs> vice president before becoming president in 1865. For you that don't know, uh, Abe Lincoln was killed. Um, he owned at least half a dozen enslaved people in, the, in his native of Tennessee. Uh he even lobbied for Lincoln to exclude the state. He lobbied for this, for Lincoln to exclude the state from the Emancipation Proclamation. Damn the Negroes. I'm fighting the traitorous aristocrats, their masters, was his quote about the Civil War. So, Andrew Johnson, uh, you're my number two player. Uh, you make me embarrassed to enjoy baseball. Uh, that's it. So, uh, on to the next one. Ty, round two. Man, I'm Number glad I'm good. glad Mike is leaving all the good, all the good athletes <laughs> <laughs> for your all boy. The good people in general. Because I didn't too. think I didn't think he was gonna make it back around. I didn't think he was going to make it back around. I can't pass up on my boy, Tom Brady. How dare you, Jamal? Oh pick Breeze over your boy. Brady is the greatest of all time, regardless of color. Period. So. Of course, he's the greatest white quarterback. Uh, yes, Tom Brady. I'm, my, I'm, 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 I can't wait to see the votes on this. My team's winning. Who's next? Brady, book it. And good, Phelps, good pick, book it. Good, good pick on the greatest system quarterback of all time. Corey, who's your uh, second pick uh, in, this, in the white excellence draft? We talked a little bit of hockey, so you got to go Mr. Hockey himself, Wayne Gretzky. All right. But the, the great one, Mr. Hockey, I think, was, was Gordie Howe. So you got to go the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, when you have the name the great one, I mean, like, it, there's nothing. To, I don't even care what what's happening. If everybody's uh, universally acknowledging you as the great one, I mean, he's Jordan. Nothing, he's a Jordan nothing. hockey. Like, it's just you don't don't even yeah. talk about it. Like, we know he's number one. Who's number two? That's like, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's right, like right. yeah, he's number one, and everybody else is like all the way down there. So, uh, great pick. My number two is the greatest white basketball player to ever play the game, and that is the Hick from French Lick, Larry Joe Bird. He's by far the greatest white basketball player. Um, yeah, yes, yes. He, by there's, far. there's not even – and he's probably a top five, six player ever of, 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 of NBA. Top five. So I when I'm building my team, you need your leader, the guy who's going to fight you through the battles, the, the leader of who dat KKK Nation, Drew Brees. And what you need is a strong number two, somebody who can get it done at any spot in – you that you need and larry bird could do it all he was powerful he was graceful he could shoot he could rebound he could pass he was a complete soldier so you need a complete player on your team and that's why larry bird is my number two pick mike continue to butcher this for us <laughs> all right uh, what I'm president going, is, what uh, is next? No, i'm going i'm going with a wrestler this time guys all right uh oh ulysses s grant uh <laughs> He was the last president to personally own slaves. Uh, he served two terms between 1869 and 1877. The former uh, commanding general of the Union Army had kept a lone black slave named William Jones in the years before the Civil War. He gave his freedom in he gave him his freedom in 1859. Grant would later slum up his uh, evolving views on slavery in 1878 
as he was quoted as saying that it would be a stain to the union, that people had once been bought and sold like cattle. So eventually he realized uh, his wrongs, but whatever, bro, you're my wrestler. Uh, so you're in there. Uh, on, on to you, Ty. Wait, so he is a wrestler? Like, he's yeah, a wrestler. He okay. yeah, he wrestled. Yeah, he wrestled. As long as these guys are athletes, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna rebuttal you, Mike. As long as he's yes. a wrestler, yes. then he, then I'm not mad at your top three so far. But so far, you're leaving so the best athletes for your boy, and I appreciate it. <laughs> who I'm looking at my, my big boy. I didn't expect these guys to be here. You know, I don't know who was gonna be next. <laughs> Which of these white greats should I choose next? I think I have to go your boy over Babe Ruth, Jim Thorpe. And y'all wouldn't even probably know that I knew who he was. Know who that is. Exactly. I know who he is. How do you not know who he is? He How is do I a, not know who he is? Uh, he played baseball and football and an and, and Olympian. Oh, better the be, better athlete than Babe Ruth. He's like the Bo, the white Bo Jackson. Look him up. Jim Thorpe. Babe Ruth is mixed anyway, so he doesn't. He doesn't. Sounds like a ski. It sounds like a ski mountain that I've been to. Jim Thorpe. (laughs) Corey, I'm 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 pulling up. So you know, he's Olympic gold medalist and Mm -hmm. and. uh, Oh, he's a Native American. Oh, that don't count. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, got an asterisk next to his name. Oh, get him out of here. You know what? I'm not allowed to do that. What what would Trump call him? You know what? Trump Pocahontas. I just perfect because I I want another, I want another <laughs> cheater I want another person that I know will win no matter what Lance Armstrong. Oh, oh, oh no! no. He's no. right out from under me. Yes. Oh my oh. God. Thank you. I'm glad Google's oh, found God. out that I can't Jim believe you guys cheating, are actually getting a cheating Native American. <laughs> a cheater. Oh my God. You are Native. Right yeah. out from under me. Lance Armstrong. Oh my God. Yeah. Go awesome better. Awesome pick. Excellent pick. All right, Corey. You, I know that I know the sound of defeat when I hear it. All right, so now you have to now you have to move down your big board. Uh, who is your third pick? For those, just all right, here we in, go. Third pick in the all white team, Corey. Go all white, white excellent, excellent fantasy draft. draft. Fantasy draft. <laughs> I mean, listen, my third guy. He's going to have to be a shit talker. He's someone to get the rest of the boys fired up. John That's Walker, why I'm tennis legend Johnny McEnroe. The McBrat, yes. all right? Yes. Winning 881 matches and only losing like 128. He's got an 80-some-odd win percentage. The man, the one that can get the team going, Johnny Mac. Love it. I love that pick. So I I based my rounds based on need. So I have my leader, okay? I have my overall complete player threat. Now – I respect Corey for the shit talker. I save that for the fourth round. The yeah. third round, I think it's important to have a level-headed person in the room. Someone who can... There's a lot of big egos on this team. So you need somebody to level everything out. And the perfect man for the job is a woman. And her name is Sue Bird. Ooh. Sue Bird is probably, in my opinion one of the greatest women basketball players to ever live, if not the greatest. Four-time gold medal winner, three-time WNBA champion, multiple-time All-Star, and the current assist leader. So she can delegate, obviously. So that's what I need on this team, someone who can delegate. She also led, as a freshman, led her uh, high school team to a 114-4 and record throughout her entire career. They only lost four games. So Sue Bird... Uh, is of the Seattle Storm, one of the uh, on the Mount Rushmore of WNBA players is my third pick, Michael. Okay, I, I agree with you. Women are key in this draft, and uh, leaders are too. So I'm going to start with uh, the greatest horse racer of his time, <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> uh, Th- Thomas Jefferson, also on my team, was the one that brought this to my attention. Attention, he said he's the best horseman of his age. <laughs> the best Thomas Jefferson just said that you're the best horseman of your age. You're on my team. Okay. And I'm just hearing about uh, it now. Right. Yeah. Most Americans know George Washington owned and enslaved people in Mount Mount Vernon in his Mount Vernon home. But fewer people know that his wife, Martha, who's really <laughs> the person I'm drafting, 
dramatically increased his enslaved population there. When they wed in 1759, George had owned about around 18 people. Martha, one of the richest women in Virginia, owned 84. That sneaky little bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Over 100 people now. Not, still not on the – that's why I went with Tom first. Tom had 600. This is still around 100. Uh, but, yeah, he, he's on my team, guys. Good pick. Thank yeah, the George Washington, super underrated athlete. All right, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and just go with Babe Ruth. He, he fell, he fell back to me. I didn't think he was gonna make it back. Babe Ruth is the guy, and I'm gonna win this this poll. By the way, if, if the fans are choosing, I'm telling you right now, if you're looking at my squad, it's not even close. Who's next? Babe Ruth, Corey, fourth pick in the uh, White Excellence Fantasy Draft. I mean, you. I think you're just missing the boat here, Ty. I mean, you you have a lot of good white athletes, but they're they're good. They're not great. This is white excellence here. Okay, so I'm my fourth pick. I'm going with an old head, someone that's been around the game for a long time, someone that invents things. He's innovative. He creates things. He mixes a little bit of lemonade with a little bit of iced tea. Mr. Arnold Palmer. Mm, okay, innovator. Mm-hmm. Love that. Love that. <laughs> Classy. Classy pick. All right. My fourth pick. I need – so I have my mother hen. I have I have my leader, and I have my complete player. Uh, what I need is a tactician. I need somebody who can move within and out of the lines. Um, great endurance. I just need a pace guy. So I need somebody who can – who has excellent endurance to, to kind of carry the team in spurts where the heavy hitters aren't there. And that's why I'm going with – uh, the greatest white soccer player of all time, Lionel Messi. Uh, Lionel Messi has six golden boots. Um, I don't know how this is pronounced, but he also has six uh, Ballon d'Ors, which I guess are like super MVPs, but five of them came uh, this decade. Uh, he's like the leading scorer in all his divisions. He's played in multiple leagues in soccer, and he's been at the top at every single one of them. So Lionel Messi is my I know fourth. nothing about soccer, but I know that he's a badass. I, I do know that that he is a bad. Every time I play FIFA, I try to use. He's France, right? I like to use uh, him. Argentina. Oh, Messi? Argentina. Ar- Argentina. Oh damn! Either way, yeah. I know Not that Barclay. I try to use him because he's like super fast. And he's uh, but he's he's lit. I know that. I don't watch soccer, but Messi is that dude. Nice, Mike. <laughs> Go on. Pick, man. I'm going with the tag team champions. Of America, <laughs> uh, tricky Dick Nixon and Double R Ronald Reagan, baby. I'm going for a two for. Uh, let oh me show God. you this now. Recently, because uh, it, it takes a while for this stuff to to get uh, into the Americans' hands, but this is a transcript script from a conversation from both of them, uh, and this is Reagan talking. He's like, "Last night, I tell you to watch the thing on television, as I did." Reagan said to those. Those monkeys from those African countries, damn them. And they're still uncomfortable wearing shoes. Nixon begins laughing hard. Fuck them both. And these are people that were presidents or even alive in our, our time frame. So, Mike, what uh, did they do athletically? Is what okay, Richard Nixon was a bench warmer on football. An undersized lineman who was outstanding to tributes to no matter how who started him. It gets better. Uh, Under, first of all, uh, undersized lineman just sounds. <laughs> undersized lineman sounds like a regular person. Like an undersized right. lineman words, just sounds yeah. like a, me. <laughs> um, he he was used as scrapped iron. Uh, he often said, but he held incredible self discipline and determination. Here's a fun fact: throughout his life, he remained a devoted fan of the game. And as president, by some accounts, he gave his friend Washington Redskins racial slurs. Coach George Allen, a play to run in the nineteen seventy three Super Bowl. You the would. tricky, the tricky Dicky. Uh, no, it wasn't called that, but if I got the name, it that's what it would have been. Uh, Reagan also played football. Uh, Reagan did not support any civil rights bills throughout uh, the years. He opposed the Civil Rights Act of nineteen sixty four and Voting Rights Act of nineteen sixty five, signed in law by Lyndon Johnson in nineteen eighty eight. He vetoed the Civil Rights Restoration Act, but the veto was overridden by Congress. So, um, yeah, that's it. Just so you know. Nobody tell me hockey is boring or talking about hockey is boring. Because I'm going to refer you right back to this white excellence draft, right to Mr. Powers. 
Yeah. Hey, man. Ty, <clears throat> who's your fifth pick? Lit. First of all, thanks. Mike's like helping me out because he's, first of all, not, you know, le- leaving the players for me, but also I'm taking time while he's giving me history lessons to think about who should I draft next. And I had a, I know basketball players, surprisingly. Jamal got Bird. I wanted Bird, obviously, but I had to take Phelps and Brady. I got Phelps, Brady, Armstrong, Ruth, and I feel good about my basketball player. I feel real good about him. Steve Nash. That's Whoa. him. That, that's the one. That's the next best white basketball player for me. It's Steve Nash. Steve Nash is an excellent pick, even though he's South African. And he's Canadian, though. He's Canadian. Oh, he's Canadian. Okay, okay. Canadian. All right, that's cool. I'll take it. I'll Listen, take it. I've seen him. I've seen him play. He's dope, and he is white. And, and, and there's no debate and about it. He can play some good <laughs> hockey, too. Yeah, he's a friend, and he can play. And he can play soccer. He's he's a great athlete all, all the way around. Good multiple MVP really man. Good. That guy was a wizard with the ball, man. I, I, it was hard. I'm debating with him. I don't want to give. I don't want you guys to get the next guy. Is him and another point guard, Steve Nash, though, the next best white player for me. Basketball you know, wise, you know who everybody's leaving on the table. Well, let's let's Corey. Hey, Corey, Corey, <laughs> go ahead and make your pick. Uh, the fifth pick in the draft. Fifth and final pick. This one was tough because I was kind of torn between both. But I'm going to have to go. I I got, you know, a lot of balls, a lot of shit talkers, a lot of good players, some old heads here. I got to go with the brains. I don't have brains on my team yet. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. They're all white. How? I I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. That's football legend John Madden. Ooh. John Madden. Been around the game a long time, seen a lot of things, and more importantly, he's just got a, he's got the big brain, got the big brain. Did John Madden play football? He did. Okay, there you go. He did. Yeah, he played with so, Woodrow Wilson. Did he? <laughs> no. Yeah, he has no idea. Oh my god. So my last pick, uh, because Bert wasn't here. I have a. There's actually a lot of great players, and people are going to kill us for this draft because we left a lot of great players on the table, and I'll mention them afterwards. But my big board is. Um, I don't want to have three basketball players on my list, and I have a soccer player. I have a football player. Hold on, so there's a there's a basketball player that's higher that's higher that we haven't picked. Who is he? Tell me. Oh, I'll tell you right now, and he's not my pick, but I'll just go ahead and say John Stockton. Uh, he played. 19 seasons in the so that NBA. Was the, it was for me. It was Nash, Stockton, and uh, and Jerry West. And, and Jerry West was the other one I was thinking about. Jerry West is up there too. And yeah, he was yeah. Let's change that too. logo. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Jerry uh, West averaged 27 points a game. So he's Jerry West is that dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, he's still Jerry. Uh, not Jerry. John Stockton played 19 seasons in the NBA. Guess how many times he made the playoffs? Just guess. Once. 19. 19 times every yep. year he's played in the NBA, yep. his team made it to the playoffs. No, he was, that, do- oh, he is, was dope. that is an insane statistic. Well, um, he had the mailman, ten- right? Uh, for not, the- not all those years, but he 10 years, 10 year, 10 time all star. Uh, he made the dream team, uh, rightly over Isaiah Thomas because he's a better point guard than Isaiah Thomas. And, um, yeah, he's he's John Stockton is not my fifth pick. But he deserves to be on there. Matter of fact, since I have the last pick, I'll just run through a few that I'm not picking. Uh, I have one. We left Mike. Mike, no, you don't, Mike. You're done talking for the rest of the show. Uh, <laughs> Mike Trout is probably the greatest uh, talented baseball player uh, of all time. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to scream Ted Wells. Mike Trout is ten times better than Ted Wells ever was. Uh, Mike Trout is is amazing, and when it's all said and done, he will be recognized as the greatest uh, baseball player ever. And um, Christian McCaffrey already is the greatest white football player to ever play the game. That guy is he's fantastic. Dope. But he's he's even, dope. You can't say that because you, you, you'd be cast out in other quarterbacks for a couple years. This guy's only been a couple, years, couple years. players? That's, okay, so then I'll say he's the greatest white skill player that's ever played the no, game. He, no, he's dope. I mean, I was just talking about that to my no wife. Way. There's some white players. And I was like, man, McCafferty is cold. Like, fuck, fuck, best white running back. He might be the best running back in the league, oh, just yeah, period. For sure. yeah. Oh, he's for sure. Nasty. But it's hard, to, it's hard for me to rank quarterbacks uh, athletically unless you're in a stratosphere like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, uh, Drew Brees. 
because a lot of them aren't just simply athletic. They just throw the ball. Uh, so that leaves my final pick. I need somebody who can handle the media. I need somebody, when we talk about white excellence, we need to talk about the very top of the class. And it doesn't get better than the 16-time world heavyweight champion, Rick Flair, who has wrestled for probably 70 years now, universally recognized as an icon. He wrestled way back when there was wrestling territories. Uh, Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, and LeBron James have all said that Ric Flair is the inventor of swag. And that is the one thing that my team is missing. Okay, Ric Flair is the definition of white excellence. And so he is my last pick. I just seen Elijah. Um, Elijah just gave a really good one we missed, and that's Tim Tebow. One? Tim Tebow is a really oh. is, that's a good one we missed as well. Elijah, that is Elijah, that is a good one. Uh, Tim Tebow is the greatest college quarterback. College, yeah, uh, definitely the co- best college quarterback. I would say, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, and, there's, and I mean, a few there. But there's a few. There's Dirk Nowinski. Mike, I said you're not allowed to talk the rest of the show. Dirk Nowinski, right? Pete Pistol Pete Narovich, right? For in terms of basketball, you could probably throw Kevin McHale. Obviously, Get there's a bunch up. of great white quarterbacks, right? There's um, Mike Allstott. No, Peyton Hillis oh, is better than Michael Scott. Oh, Peyton Hillis. Hillis. Peyton Hillis, you are no, you're no. You you should be that. You that should be banned for the rest of the episode after that. The two Peyton years, Hillis? the two, the two years of Peyton Hillis got him a Madden cover. What did Mike Allstott ever get what in his thirty years Madden. of playing Mike in the Mike Allstott is the is a is the goat. The F- two years back. of Peyton Hillis, the two years of Peyton Hillis dominance is greater. You're wrong. Than the Move on, Mike Allstott. Move on. You're wrong. That's it. So we have, as a quick recap, we have me with Drew Brees, Joe Montana, Bird, Sue Bird, Peyton, Joe Peyton Montana. Manning. Peyton Manning did not make our list. Uh, yeah, if, if Mike took this seriously and Bert was here, I'm guessing these guys would all be on the board. But uh, my team was Drew Brees, Larry Bird, Sue I Bird, Lionel Messi. Mike, <laughs> if you don't stop, you are not allowed to talk. You are done talking. I, I had Drew back. Brees. You ruined the White Excellence draft. I'll say it. You know what? Let's just talk about it while before we get out of here. You, I thought Bert ruined it. No, you, sir, <laughs> you, sir, ruined the white. Well, let me tell draft. you who fell off my draft. And I, and I, go I'm ahead. Kinda, Woodrow Wilson, he was a football fanatic. He was a shitty second baseman. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, uh, you're done. You're done. I'm done. Over with you. I'm unprecedented done with you. segregation in oh, federal man. offense. It's the Chamble side of his legacy that came to head in the afternoon in 1914 when he threw the civil rights leader, William Monroe Trotter, out of the Oval Office. Um, In in 1915, it gets better. Wilson sparked outrage by screening the racist film, The Birth of a Nation, at the White House. The silent movie that was retelling the reconstruction through the eyes of the KKK. Oh, poor them. Like, oh, could you imagine the poor KKK has to go through... uh, the reconstruction of of the nation. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk, Mike. We'll talk to Mike off air. Everybody, hey, thank you for joining us. Um, stuff about sports. Give us a shot. Network. We got push the agenda. Bases loaded. Mike time. Steve. Smart out club. A menu list of items for you to choose from. Uh, we will Doing see you Friday, that. and we will see you Tuesday. Good night. Sport.